Hey everyone, it's Dylan from I Don't Know Reviews, and it's been a bit, but this week has been pretty crazy. But this weekend I did see a certain particular movie called Jurassic World. I bet you haven't heard that one. No, all kidding aside, this movie had the largest box opening in history, apparently. Obviously, this movie stars Chris Pratt, and it revolves around the opening of Jurassic World, the park that John Hammond envisioned in the first Jurassic Park movie, which is, God, way too many years ago. But yeah, it follows that park opening and then a bunch of side plots. <laughs> and of course, uh, things go wrong, the dinosaurs escape, and people are in danger. And that's pretty much the plot of this movie, other than the fact that the people at the park made a hybrid dinosaur to attract new viewers. And of course, that dinosaur is crazy, and it's a monster, and it kills everyone. <laughs> now, I'm just going to preface this by saying this movie's not the worst thing ever, but it's certainly not that good. Um, a quick little story. Me and my friends tried to see a showing, which was sold out. Then we tried to see another showing. That was also sold out. Third time we actually got in, but two showings that were sold out. And it was for, it was for Jurassic World. I just... It was not a good night to see Jurassic World. Now, of course, we could just talk about the acting real quick, because really there's not much to talk about. We had Chris Pratt, who was great in everything. He was a lot of fun. Even some of the other people. Bryce Dallas Haller was all right. Um, everyone was all right. There wasn't anyone in the in the movie that was particularly not a very good actor. It's just the the problem with it was the script. <laughs> the, script the script was really bad. Um, some of the dialogue was pretty cringeworthy, and it was funny when it wasn't supposed to be funny. And the comedic moments, which were supposed to be funny, just weren't funny because they just felt really forced. Particularly the um, the tech guy. I don't remember who he was. I don't even know who he is, the actor. But the, there was a tech guy in the room, and he was slinging jokes all over the place. And none of them were hit. None of them were hitting. My whole theater was pretty silent, and we only had a couple of small giggles throughout the for the audience throughout the entire thing. But it's just. The script just wasn't very well written. It's super cheesy. And not even the good kind of cheesy. It was just really, really bad. Like, you could look back at the 93 version and be like, oh, that's cheesy. But that's because it was made in 1993. <laughs> this is made in 2015, and it's even cheesier than the other movies. And I'm not even a big fan of Lost World or Jurassic Park 3, but that's not to say that the script doesn't set up good action set pieces, because there were good action set pieces with the dinosaur, with the, the Indominus Rex, it was called. It was a it was a pretty cool dinosaur. Like it was really threatening and it did all this really weird shit. Like it could turn invisible and it was really smart because it was it had like a mix of some of the most ridiculous animal DNA I've ever heard before. But I'm, I'm not gonna spoil anything. But yeah, even the CGI for the dinosaurs wasn't that great either. The Indominus Rex looked really good, and that was it. All the other dinosaurs didn't really look that good. The Velociraptors at points I thought looked terrible. Um, the uh, the Plesiosaur I think it's called the thing in the water with the in the big tank that eats the gray white shark, which was actually kind of cool. That thing looked all right. The T Rex in the at the end didn't I didn't think it looked that good. Um, but overall I just I don't I don't really like this movie. I don't think it's a very good movie. Um, and there was just a bunch of other small things that just really bothered me about this movie. Like, you don't really care about any of the characters outside of Chris Pratt because Chris Pratt is just so likable and awesome. But you had these, this story with these two kids. Didn't care about those two kids. They could have died for all I care. You don't care about Bryce Dallas Howard. Well, I didn't anyway. Then there was the head of the island, the kind of John Hammond-ish type character. I didn't care about him either. I didn't care about anyone in this movie. Everyone could have died. And I, I, I wouldn't have batted an eye. Ever, literally, they were all paper, paper people. They were paper people. They were just flat archetypes of characters that just didn't add anything to this movie and really didn't make me care about the story at all which is really bad which I didn't which is not a good thing and at moments things just got a little too ridiculous for my taste specifically the ending the ending fight scene got really really ridiculous and stupid real fast I'm not gonna say specifically but if you've seen it you might know what I'm talking about with the dinosaurs doing their doing their thing They're just a bit it's ridiculous. I don't want to say it's unrealistic because it's, it's a Jurassic Park movie. They're bringing dinosaurs back to life for a theme park. I mean, that's not exactly realistic. But there has to be some type of 
bass line, some type of tone you're trying to set. And the, the movie was kind of all over the place, like ridiculous action, and then, oh, look, it's a funny comedy, and then trying to take, then moments where it's trying to take itself very seriously, and it just doesn't mesh together. It's, it's just kind of a mess of a movie. Um, now that I've been thinking about it for a few days, it might be the worst Jurassic Park movie. Maybe above three. Maybe above three, but I can't rank these movies because they, the last two, three, and this one are going to be fluctuating forever. But yeah, just to bring it all in and sum this up really fast, what was good about this movie? Chris Pratt was good. I actually did feel like his relationship with the Raptors, I thought that was actually kind of nice. Um, it, it was fun sometimes. <laughs> That's about all I liked about it. And the bad, the script was bad, the effects were pretty bad, the tone was all over the place, writing was horrendous at times. It wasn't funny. Characters you didn't care about, the list can go on. The list can go on about this movie. But yeah, Jurassic Park, it's 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 alright. It's not great. It's, it's mindless fun. You can see it, it won't do anything, but it's really not that great of a movie. So I'm gonna give Jurassic Park like a a 5 out of 10. You could see it. I mean, everyone else has apparently seen it. But it's really not that great. And I really wouldn't recommend it to anyone. I mean, if I got it for free, I'd probably throw it up on the shelf somewhere. But what else is there to say about this movie? <laughs> okay, so if you like what you saw here, you like my reviews, you can always click down here and see the rest of my reviews. I have a couple of different reviews out. Um, later, I'm actually going to be talking about E3 because I was watching that a lot. But, yeah, if you liked this video, you can like the video, you can favorite it, you can comment on it, tell me if, if you thought Jurassic World was the best freaking thing you've ever seen, and be like, you're wrong, this movie was amazing. That's cool, everyone has their own opinion. So, yeah, I will see you guys next time.